So we just left a meeting with Intel that was quite interesting and it started off going through their odyssey and how that developed into an, an attempt to reach out to the community and get some feedback for their upcoming graphics launch with their XE architecture. And that led into their new gaming software which they added a few new features such as integer scaling using the the new Ice Lake uh, parts, those are only exclusive to those for now and will be coming to their Tiger Lake parts which are XE based that were teased already earlier this week at CES. And they even showed off XE Mobile running Destiny 2 live at their event and they had that on display later in their suite over at CES and a lot of people got to get hands on with that. But there was a lot of talk and complaints that we didn't get to see a dedicated graphics card, so a desktop variant that it was just the mobile. Well, as a part of their XE low power line, they are bringing a desktop part to the market. And this is what we got to actually take a look at and get hands on time with, but it is not a retail product. However, it does look very retail ready if you ask me. It's known as their software development vehicle that they'll be sampling to IHV. So these will be going out for vendors and developers to work with for validation to ensure that their software is working with it and that it's all put together. So this hasn't been out yet to developers for optimizations. So that could be uh, a hint at some of the performance things that we've seen so far, but we did get to play some games on it or rather one game, we got to play Warframe on it, running on a system on a TV at 1080p. And for the most part, it ran surprisingly well. Now I know that Warframe is not a very demanding game and we had a bit of a hard time getting a good feel for it because the sensitivity was like super high. So it was bouncing around as you may see right now on some footage from someone else playing the game. Uh, but it is a small low power graphics card featuring an aluminum shroud. Uh, thanks to Gordon at PC World dropping that, we got to confirm that it was in fact metal and not plastic. And it does not require an added additional power. And across the IO, it has a, well, a string of RGB lights because you got to have those things. But it was really cool to see the DG1 up and running in person and playing a game. So a lot of promise and it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below and we'll catch you guys in the next one. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.